Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Section 8.4, we're still working with quadratic equations and the formula. Opposite of 2x squared equals the opposite of 3x plus 4. I need to put this in standard form. The easiest way to do that is to, and to also make the leading coefficient positive, is to add 2x squared to both sides. So this is going to become a 0, and on this side I'm going to have 2x squared, and of course the minus 3x and the plus 4 don't change because there's been no moving of those. Okay, please remember in standard form it doesn't matter what side of the equation says 0. That doesn't matter. What matters is that your equation is in, uh, in standard form, meaning we have descending power order and the leading coefficient is positive. So in this case, a is a positive 2, b is a negative 3, and c is a positive 4. We go to our formula, x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we get, when we simplify, opposite, opposite, positive 3. On the bottom we have a 4. Under the radical, negative 3 quantity squared is 9. Negative 2, I mean rather negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times 4 is a negative 32. So what we end up getting, we have 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 32 is a negative 23, and this is all over 4. Now, the minute you see a negative under a square root, you should immediately think I, okay, your imaginary complex, however your teacher has taught you. What this becomes, of course, the 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 23 is i radical 23. You know an i is going to come into play because this is not a real number, it's an imaginary. So the negative under, the, under, a, under a square root is going to dictate an i. 23 stays under the radical because it's not a perfect square and there's nothing that you can take out. No perfect square factor. And this is all over 4. Those are my two answers. And those two answers are not real. So this equation does not have real solutions. It has complex solutions.